Welcome to the Sustainable Act Podcast. I am your host, Smiley Karana. I am so excited to be here with you. This is a, a new type of um, different different kind of episode. It's a solo chit chat um, and it's part of a new sub series that we are are introducing called journal entries and um, I'm just so excited to be back in front of my mic in front of the camera I think that's more of a newer addition to all the people that have been here since the beginning since we launched welcome back and thank you for tuning in again and for supporting the show and this platform for all these years Um, And for those that are new um, and just checking out, thank you. Thank you for clicking on the show. I appreciate you being here um, and I hope you stick around. So this episode is exciting for a few different reasons. Like I said, it's going to be part of a new sub-series. We're going to get a little bit personal. It's going to be more of a conversation between uh, you and me. like a FaceTime style or a voice note style. However, you listen to your podcast, whether you are watching on YouTube, on your computer, or you're listening in your car or on your hot girl walk. I hope we can just hang out for the next little bit and just chat about life updates and what's to come. So if you can please follow, subscribe, leave a review. uh, And you know, if you can, it shows us so much support and it'll help our platform grow and reach new audiences. That would mean so much. Um, And I'm just so excited to get into this episode. Um, So it is a little bit different from what... I've done in the past um, if you've been here since the beginning um, or you're tuning in for the first time these journal entries will be more of a personal take on um, just conversations that I have with you you know we'll dive into thoughts about current events or issues or just like personal life updates Um, I would love to like answer questions if you want to submit audience questions um, or topic request that would be awesome so all that will be linked below um on how you can do that uh so that you know this is more of a personal side to the podcast yeah and then this you know you've seen the title there's a lot of things we're gonna get into spill some tea and talk about what's to come this is chloe um if you're on the video podcast uh, this is Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. And so you'll be seeing her on the podcast more and more as well. She is my little three-year-old Yorkie. And um, yeah, for those listening, I have my dog <laughs> with me. Um, so if you see her on camera, that's Chloe. Yeah, so let's just let's get into it. Let's first talk about what is happening with the Sustainable Act. So for those, um, you know, new listeners or those that have been here since the beginning but maybe don't know the history of how the system started or just you know want a refresher I actually launched this podcast and platform four years ago which is crazy to say but it was this time four years ago around Earth Day um, and it was during the COVID lockdown um also another crazy thing to think that it's already been four years it's just like a weird timeline Um, i don't know if anyone feels that way too but it has been four years and when i started this platform i wanted to build and find a community of action takers and continue conversations around how individuals can take action and inspire change Um, and that's always been the core value of this platform and show uh, to inspire action to create a safe space to grow and learn and listen and teach and my own career has evolved a lot over the years as well alongside the this platform as well i've not been able to do this full time and again there's been a lot of times i guess you can say where it's been pretty quiet over here (laughs) like i don't even know the last time um i had put out an episode 
but it's been cool like I got to have a lot of professional development grow my own career I started um, out originally working on productions on set leading sustainability and um, that's why I'm, I have a huge connection and tie to the film industry and you'll see a lot of episodes and resources and blog posts around how you could be more sustainable on set and we'll continue doing that because you know it's a huge huge area huge space and there's so many amazing people in this space that are taking action that i would love to keep amplifying um and then over the years i did have the pleasure of getting a job that allowed me to make a larger impact in a in a larger role in the film industry so moving um on from just being on a single production or a single set and getting to lead on a bigger level but there were a lot of there were a lot of pros and then there were cons to being in that role um, and one of the cons was that I wasn't to continue working on the sustainable act um, couldn't record more episodes and just like work on this and now we're here so that could only mean one thing um, and you know that from the title of this episode <laughs> but more on that later <laughs> Uh, let's actually talk about what the future looks like for the Sustainable Act. So we are growing. You're going to meet the newest and our first addition to first, second, if if I if I if you don't count me, uh, the newest addition to the Sustainable Act family um, in our next episode. So make sure you're subscribed, <laughs> and you'll be introduced to her on our socials and our website. And I'm just so excited for you to meet this person who is also a leader in her space and has done so much and continues to inspire me every day. And I'm just so, so excited to like be working together on growing this initiative and just, you know, reaching more people, making magic happen. So you're going to meet her in the next episode. So stay tuned and, um, and, and just hear more from this awesome person. Also, um, alongside that, we are also recording new episodes to finish off season three. So we do, um, we did start season three and as you if you haven't already i recommend checking out the last couple episodes with laurel with samuel uh they're amazing leaders in the in the climate space um and then yeah we took a long break and also just like i did those episodes and then i put them out and i was still in that last role so you know there was a little bit of let's just get this out there and we'll see what happens but um that's why that it's been so inconsistent with the scheduling and posting but i'm so happy to report that we are now going to be on a consistent schedule so you will be able to tune in bi-weekly to listen to the sustainable act with a new um person that will be interviewed each episode or it'll be a journal entry Um, and then as we continue on we definitely want to hear from more people that want to be on the show or you know however uh, we'll see how that unfolds but we are prepping we've been working so hard for the last month and a bit uh, to bring you some really really amazing educational inspiring um, awesome episodes so please stay tuned and we also are including, as you can tell from this podcast, uh, a video component. So you can actually tune in on YouTube and Spotify as well. Uh, and we're just trying to be more inclusive. So it's a little bit more work, but I hope it's worth it. And I'm so excited for this new chapter. And also part of it is, like I mentioned, the journal entries um, sub-series. Uh, so again, you know, I want to hear if there's any topic requests, but it'll be just casual, something fun like this. Um, I was actually very nervous uh, to to do this, um, and it took me a few weeks to actually sit down and record this because um, I don't know about you, but I really get into my own head um, and insecure about you know I just overthink a lot of things, and so this is actually. An opportunity for me to just step out of my comfort zone I've always found comfort in like sitting down with a person and 
interviewing them and having that connection i love having those conversations in real life so to be able to do it um, and record it and then share it with the world that always has been so special for me and this is something that was scared me but i'm here and i'm talking and i i like where this is going so i hope you do too if you don't like hearing me talk then you don't need to tune in that's okay i won't mind (laughs) what yeah you can expect for the main part of the podcast you can expect it to be pretty similar to what we've always done which is interviews with leaders entrepreneurs activists filmmakers change makers you name it Uh, we'll dive into personal stories how they take action um learning from people like it'll be so exciting i'm i'm just so excited um to meet these people but then to share those conversations with the world and i want to say if you are one of those things if you identify as one of those incredible people which i'm sure everyone listening to this just for the simple fact that you're listening to this makes you special and uh you know i know that you have influence in your corner of the world but if you want an outlet to amplify your work Uh, we have a guest application form that you can fill out and you can go on our website and um, yeah, fill that out if you are interested in being on this show and then our team will get back to you. So we do want to be that space to amplify voices. Um, So I just wanted to put that out there as well. Um, So yeah, and then lastly, I just want to say that if you are a brand or a company or an investor or somebody that wants a platform and initiative or a podcast to support we are seeking sponsors and partnerships and we'd love to talk um you know how that could work out or if you know of somebody that may be a great partner um you know we need funding to keep this going to be be able to bring you this uh content and this information so yeah uh, anyways yeah i just wanted to put that out there all the information can be found on our website um and linked below so okay enough of this boring stuff i know that that's a lot of the the business the housekeeping um i want to talk about another new exciting initiative that we are as we as in the sustainable act is launching soon and it will be for the metro vancouver community um so if you aren't familiar i am vancouver based and bc based um situated on the musqueam squamish and Tsleil-Waututh nations traditional ancestral lands and um you know i have been working so hard since i left my job um and even before then to be able to find a community in my own backyard of climate change makers um and just you know people in the in the community that are sort of following or doing similar things as me and it's been tough it's been hard um through the podcast i've been able to connect with people from around the world which is been amazing but when it came to my own sort of home and my own community I've had some trouble uh, finding those people and the last few weeks I have been putting more of an effort to get involved in different initiatives and I've got to attend an, like an awesome summit hosted by Starfish Canada um, I'm participating in a climate lab a youth climate lab with City Hive um which is it's so so awesome and i want to give a shout out to those organizations that are doing so much work to bring youth and just climate leaders together um around the country and in vancouver um but something that's been missing that i have been so inspired by that has been done around the world and so it's modeled by a in la in new york um and a in around uk around europe um and what we don't have that in vancouver i think i think from the research i've done i haven't found anything it's called climate cafes and people may be familiar i think a lot of people are familiar with what a climate cafe is um but if you're not i actually wrote down what it means a definition um but before i read that 
this is a new chapter of a climate cafe and we're calling it climate cafe vancouver uh we've created a social media page already on instagram at climate cafe van that you can go and follow um and we're so excited to launch this soon um so a climate cafe uh this is what it means climate cafes are a supportive haven for open conversations about climate change where diverse individuals come together to share thoughts and feelings without judgment fostering solidarity beyond traditional action focused initiatives drawing inspiration from the flourishing climate cafe model in la new york and victoria among other regions in the world Climate Cafe Vancouver is an initiative dedicated to establishing a community in Metro Vancouver, providing a comparable space for open conversations about climate change. So with Climate Cafe Vancouver, our primary aim is to foster inclusive and encouraging spaces designed for facilitated conversations that unite individuals passionate about addressing climate change. Unlike activists, protests, or advocacy groups and initiatives, our model addresses a distinct need, the creation of a space solely dedicated to contemplative dialogue, the expression of suppressed emotions, and the cultivation of solidarity. So yeah, that, that's what Climate Cafe Vancouver is. And again, working so hard behind the scenes to be trained as facilitators and to organize um, and just you know, all those organizations I just mentioned, Starfish, City Hive, all these other groups. Um, it's been so cool to meet other folks in those groups um, and talk about climate cafes. So I know that there's already a very keen interest and um, excitement based on, you know, on this. Um, and I'm, yeah, this is the first time we're announcing, I think, that Climate Cafe Vancouver is coming soon. So I encourage you to follow the Instagram page where we'll be announcing when the first Climate Cafe will take place and where it will be in person and open to anybody. Um, and again, to reiterate, it's not a place to come and talk about what kind of action you can take, contrary to the whole Sustainable Act initiative has been. Um, it's more about just talking about our feelings and a safe space to just have discussions and build a community. So um, that's, I'm just really, really excited. Um, and yeah, more to come on that. So if you're interested, if that sounds like something, it could be your jam or you're interested in, or you've attended a climate cafe before, I want to hear from you. We want to make sure this is for people, by the people. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good space. Um, so if you're interested, I definitely recommend checking that out. I think that's about it for what's to come unless I missed anything but now let's just uh we can get into sort of like personal life updates there's so much to update you guys on again if you've been here from the start or if you follow me um on any of like social media um you may be familiar with some of these updates but if you're just tuning in and you have no idea who I am <laughs> all good <laughs> um I will update you um so I guess a little recap introduction. It's always hard to introduce myself because I don't, I don't feel like I can label myself as like one thing. Like I'm not a filmmaker or I'm not just a podcast host or um, sustainability lead. Like I, I feel like I'm not, I don't want to be put into a box. Um, and this is also foreshadowing a future episode where we actually do dive into this you know being put into a box sort of like mentality or just you know culture so more on that in a future episode with this incredible person how i would introduce myself is i am an environmentalist i am a creative entrepreneur um and i'm a podcast host and over the years, I've been so lucky to be able to experience different roles and different jobs and be able to meet so many different people from different corners of the world. And particularly, I've been in a role that, again, so, so incredibly lucky and grateful. And, um, you know, there's nothing I've I don't have anything bad to say about that role. There's a lot of there's a lot of gratitude I hold for being able to enter a role that it was a first time created role to 
lead sustainability in this really big capacity and to be trusted with that and I took that and I put my blood sweat and tears into it I put my whole heart into it and because through that I got to meet even more people and do more and create more change and and just be part of this like change that we saw in metro vancouver in canada in the world like you know there's there's a lot of good that came out of it and i will always be grateful for that chapter but then when we talk about it being put into a box that is something i i personally struggled with and i also went to therapy and i talked about this um which i'm proud of myself for finally making that step and I, I did actually feel very validated in my therapy sessions um, in terms of it's okay. There's nothing wrong with me if I want to do multiple things because um, that's something I struggled with. I think I was in an environment where ideally I was one thing and it was that thing, the, the role and the title and that's it. And I was to not do anything else. And for a lot of people, that is that is okay that's you You go and you do your job that is your whole you know that's your identity that's your title you represent that in your personal and your professional life wherever you go you carry that and I and I, I think I, I did understand that when I came into that but I think over the years that became a little bit more difficult for for me and it's my own unique situation so everything I'm saying it's my own opinions my own thoughts and feelings and reflections um and perhaps there's people out there that can relate or have experienced this or may experience this I don't know um if you do like and you want to share would love that I'd love to find others that have gone through this but I've been reading a lot I've been hearing you know listening to other podcasts of other folks talking about similar things too um it's tough because I think also coming at it in you know with the generational perspective or just you know in the time that we're living maybe that's where a lot of people can relate maybe the younger folks where your job isn't everything and your life shouldn't be based around your job and in, and when it becomes that and it becomes like so it impacts your your personal life too and your own goals that's when it was like that's when it was time for me to take a step back and think about what I want from life also like this is this comes with any job you're in in any environment there's always going to be people that don't want you to succeed (laughs) um and there's often barriers put in place not often there's always barriers put in place for people that look like me you know like young people of color women like you know however you identify yourself there are often barriers and it's much tougher for a person that you know is underrepresented is of a minority it's a complex issue it's a systemic issue um it's not necessarily like just one organization is like that it's just uh it's a thing that you know um and we'll dive more into this i think definitely want to talk more about like sustainability careers like green careers and like you know all the barriers and stuff in another episode um possibly bringing on uh friends that work in that space where that are actually trying to um sort of bring more inclusion to jobs and like you know in that space so we'll we'll do another episode diving just into that um inclusion in the workplace but I wanted to address it because it is a fact and it's I I do I always speak my truth even while I was in that space and environment I spoke my truth often you know when you don't go you know when you're unheard or whatever like sometimes it's time to just back away and 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 you know find that next thing and I am still speaking my truth and I will always speak my truth um it is a thing and I know many people struggle or experience that um I think there is a I I acknowledge that there's privilege in being able to make that decision to you know step away um so I fully honor that as well but got to a point where I was like I need to put myself first and um here I am 
um so yeah there's it's a lot I could talk about but I'm trying to think about um obviously I didn't write any of this down I just want to speak from my heart share where I'm at but um I do want to address another thing uh that I have been dealing with and reflecting a lot on since I left my job um and have entered this new sort of era <laughs> we can call it it's about identity and specifically like on age i was always surrounded by a certain demographic and i've always tried to carry myself with that maturity and just maybe trying to come off older as i am just to be taken you know seriously or be taken more importantly you know just it's i don't even know if i have to explain myself i if if others have felt that way um but as a young person in a room full of not very young people um nothing wrong with that but i think it does again become a little bit more challenging when we talk about barriers there's a lot of barriers for even young people entering the workplace and then not being taken as seriously as their older counterparts um that's tough because age isn't what determines your experience your knowledge your worth it shouldn't ever you know determine any of those things but it has and since i came out of that space i had i kind of had a identity crisis with you know i am young i am in my 20s i should be proud of that i should honor that um and i had this sort of will to want to connect with other people that are in my age group and doing similar things because it can get isolating very quickly when you don't have coming back to community when you don't have a community so i've been so 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 happy to be participating and be welcomed into spaces that have been organized for youth leaders and it's been so great so i definitely again i keep saying um we'll do another episode because i there's just so much that we can't cover it all in this one solo journal entry but um, bringing in people from those different spaces to elaborate more on the work that's been you know happening and will continue to happen i think that's something i we will we will do um so stay tuned you if you relate to any of this let me know because you're not alone and i think there's power in sharing our truth and sharing how we feel and finding others that you know feel the same way because then you don't feel so alone and it also is validating to know that it's not something that only you are feeling or only you you have to carry this burden um alone so yeah reach out like i'm i'm an open book if you want to reach out privately too to just chat like i'm i'm here i'd love to connect but it's just a lot i've learned over the time so yeah part of the like you know coming into sort of um feeling empowered versus insecure about my age is something that i feel like i've learned and i you know i think yeah this is gonna i'm gonna continue to learn and um but yeah that that's something i wanted to touch on as well um and we will elaborate more in future episodes and then another life update was i went um i got to be invited on this like inaugural summit hosted by the starfish canada as i mentioned earlier in the episode um and it was for 75 youth across the country that were that are climate leaders in their own space ranging from 15 to 30 years old um and we it was held in squamish bc on the traditional ancestral lands of the squamish peoples and it was five days of staying in a cabin in the forest um you know being able to take part in programming workshops and uh, hands-on activities led by indigenous elders and knowledge keepers um and other leaders in the climate space um and it was just so so incredible i still haven't posted about it on my socials um just recapping it because truly i just i'm still processing it's been a few weeks but i still think about it and i'm glad i get to talk about it here now because it's just it was the most like life-changing summit that i've attended 
you can tell so much care went into it there was so much attention to detail there's a lot of factors that people miss or it's not often even you know considered when it comes to like conferences and summits um held in the sustainability space or any other space um again i think demographically the <laughs> who's who's organizing makes a big difference so you can tell that um the people that like put this together really truly care about the mission of inspiring youth change makers and um I think a lot of the lessons I've learned were mostly connected to the indigenous traditional knowledge that I was so privileged and I felt so so lucky and grateful that I got to you know learn and then be able to take that and now carry that into my work um particularly learning about you know relationships mine and ours and in the indigenous cultures um relationship to land and trees and plants and animals and a lot of the virtues and um in terms like the virtues and values they hold when it comes to how you live and how you treat others and how you act and how you show your gratitude um so it was just so so cool and i i don't even know what else to say i think we got to make soup and we got to make bannock which is bread um and we like we i guess cooked it over the fire outside like it was so cool to be able to do that and it was so delicious Um, we did nature walks we let baby salmon release them into the river um yeah anyways i'm going to try to because i captured so much on my phone um i also unplugged the whole time because there's no wi-fi there's like hardly any network so that was also pretty powerful to be able to just disconnect from the world Um, but i did try to capture a lot of footage um videos and photos that i'm going to share so if you're interested in that check it out um on socials i'll post that but i also I also made a lot of lovely new connections um, and friends with people around the around the country. Um, so I, you know, again, will try to bring people onto the podcast or just feature them on the Sustainable Act page. But so many amazing people are doing such great things, and they're all so young, but like literally badass and epic and cool. And I just again coming back to the your age does not define your worth or your experience or what you bring and that was just like a true you know that's that's where you got to see that come to life so yeah shout out to starfish canada i have so much love for this nonprofit organization who's working tirelessly and um yeah check them out because i know they have so many great resources and workshops and a journal online and a lot of ways that you can work with them collaborate with them get involved learn etc so yeah shout out to them so i think that's about it for my life updates i know i covered so much and i feel like we are a little bit running long but um it is the first episode ever of the new sub series journal entries so i appreciate if you made it to the end i appreciate you sticking um around and listening to the full episode chloe's here she says thank you that was a little growl i don't know if she's happy or not but she's here she's gonna be our mascot um and make sure you subscribe if you aren't already subscribed follow us on socials subscribe to our newsletter we're gonna be starting to make newsletters so we can get more updates out um and reach out we're open books reach out if you want to collaborate if you want to come on the show if you want to partner with us if you want um us to amplify your event or whatever it is uh we're here we are excited we you know just to build this community and this work and um also if you can leave us a review and share this with your your network your friends so again we can continue growing our platform and our audience and yeah i really 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 appreciate 
all of you, uh, whether you tuned in via audio or video, however, wherever you are. I hope you have a great rest of your day. This episode does come out on Earth Day, so happy Earth Day to all my Earthlings and all my friends around the world, wherever you are listening to this. And let's make this Earth Day You know, I know a lot of people always say that Earth Day should be every day and it should. And I stand by that. Uh, So, you know, to celebrate Earth Day with the Sustainable Act, leave a comment, uh, you know, wherever you hear this or on your socials with one thing you are doing, that you are committing to a goal that you take on for this year for the Earth. And tell us, tell your friends, tell your family, like... Let's join together and let's make this happen. And happy Earth Day and happy the Sustainable Act relaunch day. I hope you stick around and yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. I will see you in the next episode and have a great rest of your day. And I'm Smiley, I'm your host. I'm not literally, I don't know how to end this. So I'm just saying all these random things. Okay, I'm just gonna end it. Bye. (laughs)